Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I brought another interesting problem. Some of my students were facing difficulty in this problem and that's why I decided to do a video on this one. It's a very tricky problem and uh, let me uh, tell you in advance that it's possible to get the right answer using the wrong logic and it's also quite possible that you start with the right logic and you end up getting the wrong answer. So uh, without much ado, straight away I'll present to you this problem. So here's the problem, an L shaped wedge of mass M having sufficiently long horizontal base is placed on a smooth horizontal surface as shown in the diagram. So here this is the L shaped block and uh, it's placed on the smooth horizontal surface. This surface is smooth but this surface is rough and there's a ring over here. Okay, A thin ring of mass M and radius R is set in motion on the rough horizontal part of the wedge with a linear velocity V and angular velocity omega. So it starts uh, with uh, pure rolling such that V is equal to omega R. Okay? We have started this. Ring collides with the smooth vertical part of the wedge and the collision is perfectly elastic. So it collides and uh, it undergoes a perfectly elastic collision there. After a sufficiently long time, the final velocity of the ring and the wedge respectively R and four options are given. And what we have to assume, assume that wedge does not topple due to collision. Okay, a wedge, uh, we are calling L-shaped block as the wedge. Okay. So if you want, you can give it a try. The four options are here, okay? And I'll get into the analysis right away. So let's see what's happening here. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll, uh, we know that center of mass is going to move with constant velocity and uh, uh, velocity of center of mass is easily found. Both uh, these have mass m, so this is moving with v. So velocity of center of mass is v by 2. And then we'll see the entire problem from the center of mass frame. Why? Because center of mass frame is also known as the zero momentum frame, right? And if you're working from zero momentum frame all the time, then uh, you don't have to worry about the momentum conservation equations. They're by default always satisfied. So that's why I'm going to work in the center of mass frame, okay? So what does the situation look like, okay? So you know that uh, the momentum in CM frame is given as mu times V rel, where V rel is the velocity of uh, one body relative to the other and mu is the reduced mass. So in our case, reduced mass is simply m upon m, uh, uh, m into m upon m plus m, that is m by 2. So this is the reduced mass and relative velocity is simply v. So momentum in the CM frame is mu times v and uh, therefore velocity in CM frame will be what? Momentum divided by mass, so that is uh, v by 2. So from CM frame, this is also moving with v by 2 velocity and this is also moving with v by 2 velocity before collision. So this is our situation just before collision, right? Now, after collision, once again, the center of mass frame is a zero momentum frame. So the bodies will appear to move in the opposite direction. And of course, omega will not change in collision. Why? Because there's no angular impulse. There's no impulsive uh, force at the uh, bottom where the friction is there. Therefore, angular velocity is not going to change immediately. Okay. So, so. Uh, what happens so because it's an elastic collision so approach velocity v by 2 v by 2 and therefore separation velocity is also v by 2 v by 2 okay so ready to get, uh, easily guessed so uh, I, I did not make any momentum conservation equation separately so we know that in cm frame these uh, are momentums are always equal and opposite and the so masses are equal and opposite so that's why we can say this is v by 2 v by 2 once again okay now uh, uh, let's uh, see carefully what what are the torques that are ap uh, acting on this uh, ring. This is a ring, by the way, uh, not a cylinder. Okay. So what are the torques that are acting here? Uh, you can see N and mg are balanced, and friction is going to pass through this line. So that's why the torque of friction about any point you choose on this line will be zero. So let's say P is some point which is fixed uh, in center of mass frame. And uh, I'm considering an axis passing through P going uh, perpendicular to the page of the paper. So what is the angular momentum if I assume clockwise direction as the positive direction? So you know that angular momentum is what? M times RCM cross VCM plus ICM times omega. So ICM, it's a ring, so it is MR square. So MR square into omega, that's the clockwise angular momentum due to the uh, uh, rotation part and then uh, minus m v by 2 r. This is going backward with v by 2 and the perpendicular distances r. So this is our angular momentum with respect to point p just after the collision. Okay. Now what will happen because of this, see, uh, uh, this point will begin to slip, right? This is slipping. This is going backward and uh, uh, so friction will start acting on it here. And what is possible is if the friction 
if omega is large enough it is quite possible that because of this friction the ball may go forward and then it might start uh, reversing its direction as well if uh, that will depend on the ratio of moment of inertia to mass okay so let's see what happens in the case of a ring uh, we'll find out that uh, this omega is sufficient to start its return journey so that let's uh, write the equation and see why i am saying that so now friction starts acting on the ring however it passes through the axis mark p p assumed to be fixed in cm frame therefore we can conserve angular momentum about point p so now let us assume that when the pure rolling is achieved again the angular velocity is omega prime in the same sense i have assumed that uh, omega prime and uh, the velocities i have assumed as v prime and v prime in the cm frame okay so you might be wondering why i chose uh, v prime v prime like this could i could have uh, assumed them in the opposite direction as well doesn't matter on solving if you get negative that auto automatically means the direction opposite to the direction that you assume so uh, don't worry uh, we can also take in this direction or we can take outwards that's fine so now what is the angular momentum about point p once again taking uh, clockwise as uh, uh, positive as before the new angular momentum is mr square omega prime this angular velocity i'm calling as omega prime and plus m v dash r so remember i am writing the angular momentum of the uh, the ring alone okay so and this angular momentum must be equal to the earlier angular momentum this so i have this equation uh, angular momentum conservation equation so uh, this uh, the rhs of this is equal to rhs of this one okay so let me just uh, copy this from here and paste it i forgot to copy and paste so let me just copy paste so copy and let's paste it somewhere okay so this is equal to equal to the rhs of the other one so let me write this equation okay so these two are equal so now i can just uh, okay and also because of pure rolling you know that relative velocity is equal to uh, omega r right so relative velocity this is v dash this is v dash so relative velocity is 2 v dash so 2 v dash should be equal to omega dash r okay and also originally also the system was in pure rolling so v was also equal to omega r okay now i just need to solve this equation this one uh, this one and uh, v is equal to omega r i can use and if i solve that if you solve the system of equations what do you get you get v dash is equal to v by 6 and omega dash you get as omega by 3 okay this is what you get and uh, since i got this as positive therefore uh, it's in the same direction as the direction i assumed okay so v dash is v by 6 and omega dash is omega by 3 and uh, uh, visually you can see uh, this is what has happened so it it collided it uh, went back a little bit it start slipped and again when it is rolling again uh, the both of them are coming together like this with v by 6 v by 6 and angular velocity is omega by 3 now if you compare this with the diagram that i drew in uh, uh, figure 2 so this diagram looks just like the diagram in figure 2 except that instead of v by 2 i'm having a v by 6 and instead of omega i'm having omega by 3 so what has happened the whole system has uh, started a fresh cycle except that the velocities are reduced by a factor of uh, 3 and omega is also reduced by a factor of 3 that means what new cycle has started and the same phenomena will occur over and over again as further cycles proceed so velocity becomes one third and at the end, beginning of next cycle it will become uh, one ninth and then one by 27 times and so on so it will reduce in geometric progression right so if we compare uh, uh, figure 5 with figure 2 we can see that the new situation is just like situation 2 except that velocity and angular velocities are reduced to one third okay times and now a new cycle of collision starts with each cycle the velocities keep reducing in gp until they become zero so finally in the center of mass frame they keep colliding tuck, 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 they keep colliding and then finally uh, they come to rest with respect to each other and then what is left in the system from the ground frame the velocity of center of mass is left right so finally in the center of mass frame there is no relative velocity and all we are left from ground frame is the velocity of the center of mass that's all so from ground frame we both objects move with the velocity vcm is equal to v by 2 so the correct option is b okay some of you did uh, give the correct answer i hope you use the correct reasoning as well so this is our final answer and i hope uh, uh, you found this problem very interesting and a uh, lot of things going on here so if i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you did enjoy the analysis please uh, do give a thumbs up to my video 
and please share this video as much as possible with your friends and uh, through whatsapp telegram and whatever medium you might be using discord or uh, whatever uh, uh, to network with your fellow uh, students who are preparing for je or olympiads and uh, most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day and thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you